Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime. And this decal set includes two decal sheets on vinyl backing. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to actually apply these decals on film so you guys can get an idea of how I do it. This has been highly requested, so I figured this will be the perfect figure to do it since there's not that many decals to apply. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Optimus Prime, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now I'm going to start off by showing you my setup. I always bring out my little project mat right here. I like it because if a decal pops off the figure, it usually lands on the mat and is easy to find. I've got plenty of light. I got three desk clamps here, plus my ring light since I'm videoing this. And over here, this is the heater that I showed off in another video. What I normally do is sometimes, depends on the temperature in my office here, I'll heat the figure up with this little heater, then apply the decals and then heat him up again after the fact. It's warm up here today, so I may just heat him up after the fact. Now over here, excuse the, excuse the mess on my desk, I've got two monitors set up with the sticker map from Toy Hacks. This one, this monitor right here, this is what I have for the pictures and the number and the placement. This monitor right here is where I have the actual decal sheet. So I use both of these to figure out what goes where. So let's go ahead and put my camera in the ring light. Now I think all I'm going to need for this application is my Toy Hacks fine tip tweezers and this safety pin. I use this to get the little decals off the tip of the tweezers if it doesn't call them off on its own. Of course, I've got Prime here ready to go. Now, in my normal Toy Hacks videos, I always show robot mode, then vehicle mode, then I apply the decals to vehicle mode first, and then robot mode. So this go around, I'm gonna start with robot mode. And it looks like we do have options for the window, windshield decals. We've got dark, and blue and i believe i am going to go i like the blue that's more cartoon accurate so let's get the tweezers here take the tip off i always try to put that somewhere where i won't lose it because it always falls off my table or something it takes me forever to find the thing so a lot of people always ask how in the world do you get those off the decal sheet well you just got to bend slightly until you find that crack or that separation and just get those fine tip tweezers in there there we go and now you peel off the decal so now this may be easier with the camera because i can zoom in it's all about lining it up Try that again. I try my best not to touch the decal. If you do, just make sure it's on the end. This is hard to do on camera. place and now some pressure 
And there we go. Doesn't look too bad. Go ahead and get the other one. Get that bend, find that seam. Toy Hacks always really impresses me how good they can cut their decals to fit the molding of these figures. So there is the windshield decals. I'm still not happy with this one. Let's see if I've got enough edge to grab it. Most of the time people don't notice these, but I do, I'm a perfectionist. What I like about these vinyl decals is if you do screw up, they come off really easy. So you can apply again. <laughs> that is if you can grab them. Okay, let me try this. Try to approach it from a different angle like I did the last one. I'll we'll start here at the bottom. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Now, since I took that one off a couple of times, I am going to use the heater here. Turn that on. On a low setting. Probably hear it. And we'll just heat prime up a little bit. And there we go. There's his new windshield decal. Next up, let's work on the waist right here. You can see down here the crotch area, very plain looking. Toy Hacks has some tiny little decals that we are going to apply to the waist. So let's go ahead and we'll get the blue decal first. Let's say just find that seam, you know, pops right off. Line that up right on the edge. Another thing about the vinyl decals is sometimes they can just slide around until you get them in place and just apply that pressure with your thumb. And there you go. So let's see. And I actually prefer putting on the little tiny decals to the big ones. I just feel like I screw up less. Go. Now we get the little triangle. These are actually coming off really easy. I've had some, some can take a while and you want to be really careful. So there we go. I don't even think I had that one in camera for you. So there is that I'm actually looking over the camera to apply these I'm sorry if I'm not getting it in shot okay here's one that didn't want to come off there we go be better for this one right there Okay, now we have the last little triangle one. Sometimes these are hard to see too when you're using so much light, but you also need the light when you're applying. Especially you got old eyes like I do. All right, so there we have the belt buckle. We got one more strip to put on. Let's see. I believe it's this yellow one right here. Get that off. And that's going to go right down there on his crotch. Straight. Sorry. All right, there we go. So we now have the windows done and the belt area. Next up, let's do the forearms. 
get that decal sheet. So the forearms, you have these decals right here with the yellow triangles. If I can get that to focus in, that is a nice G1 throwback to the original Optimus Prime toy. It's gonna go down here on his forearm. So do the bend, grab the edge. See every now and then you get these little fine pieces you have to take off. So let's turn this this way and you want to line it up right there. They cut them to form the mold perfectly. So I got that lined up right there. Apply some pressure. Okay, so there's one forearm done. You can probably tell right there, see the molding and how this matches up to the sticker. So that way you know where it goes. You also wanna make sure it doesn't go off the edge of the toy. So now we have both forearms done. And I believe that is it for that section. Okay, next up, we are going to do the legs. It looks like we have decals for the knees. It's these decals right here. So look at the picture, and see how these go on. Do the bend, grab the decal, and it looks like these go right below. See that little opening right there? They go right below that. Yep, perfect fit. Apply some pressure. And that one's on. So let's get the other one. Same deal. Find the lines. I'm trying my best to look through the camera while looking over the camera to apply these decals. So there is Prime's knees. And looks like the last ones for robot mode are these decals right here, those black ones, get focused, that are gonna go inside his toes. So let's see. Got a bend, see the crease. I always like ones like these because they go in a nice deep recess and they're pretty easy. They just fall right into place. There's one toe. And get that decal here for the other. I apologize if you can hear my dog snoring. He's sleeping right underneath me. All right, so there we go. There is Optimus Prime in robot mode after. You've got the new windshields, you got the new forearms, the knees, and the belt area. So I dig it. So now let's get him transformed into truck mode. All right, now we got Prime transformed into truck mode, and this mode looks to be where some little tiny decals are gonna go because we've got decals that are gonna go in Prime's headlights. So they are, see there's four of them. Okay, they're all right up here in the corner and they are small. I like how they give you an extra one though. That way if one pops off and goes into another dimension, I can find it. So the same strategy here, man, I can barely see where it opens. Did I get one? Yes. <laughs> Look how small those are. Let's see if I can get it off. This might be where I have to pull in 
safety pin. Maybe. Nope. Got it off. So now, just get lined up in that little hole. And there you go. There's one light. <laughs> Three more to go. See, but with the magic of editing, you guys don't have to watch all this. Now, that one came off really easy. My dog is sawing logs. Now, that one was a piece of cake. Popped right off. Two down. Finding the edge on that one. See, if you bend just enough, sometimes they pop off a little bit. Did I get it? Yep. These are small. Fortunately, they're square. I'd hate to hop, hop one on and then have to rotate it all around too much. Get that pressure applied. One more. One more here in the corner. That one came off no problem. It's like the even number ones come off the easiest. Get that. Oh, see, it just fell right into place. So there's the headlights now Go ahead and apply some pressure on those so there we go what else goes on the front we have some vanity license plates I think oh, they're on this one they've got prime and I guess that's Peter maybe I think I'm gonna go with prime do the bend. All right, got the decal off. It looks like it goes right there. See, now that type of plastic, sometimes it's harder to get it to stick, but on the plus side, it lowered. See, one of the things I fail to recommend when you do these toy hack decals, you need patience. So there's the vanity plate. Apply some pressure. And there we have Prime's, the front of his cab. Now it looks like we have window decals to apply. And since I use the blue windshields, we're going to go for these blue windows. Let me take a look. Looks like they're going to go right there. You see the shape? So let's go ahead and get those on. That right. I don't flip this area. It's this side. You gotta watch for that too. I can't tell you how many times I'll put a decal on and realize I put the wrong one on the wrong side. So, all right. Press that on. So there's a little side window decal. Put this other one on. I'm kind of impressed. I've got these really tiny decals, but I haven't had to use my safety pin. So that's it. Prime's cab is now done. You got the windows, the lights, and the vanity plate. Next up, we have hubcaps. So Prime's got six wheels. There should be six gray hubcaps here. You can barely see them. 
There's three and three up here. Just a little round circle. That one's already mostly popped off for me. I'll just put that right there in the center of the wheel. Now these wheels are kind of rounded, so this is where oops, the heat's going to come into play. I dropped him and knocked that out of whack. All right, so there's that one applied. Let me go ahead and get the other five applied, and we'll be right back. And there we go. I've got all the hubcaps on Optimus Prime. It was a lot easier to put them on when I wasn't trying to do it through the camera. But there we go. Core Class Optimus Prime has been completely toy hacked. So I'll put him in front of the heater a little bit to heat those decals up, make sure they stay good and applied. And that's it. That is how I apply toy hacks decals to a Transformers figure. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And a big shout out to all my channel members for supporting the channel. Every little bit helps and I appreciate it so much. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!